Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Perspectives in Pouring. And this week, um, I'm going to be doing a spiral, um, a spiral style flower dip. Um, this is it right here. I'll turn it this way. And, um, well, you'll see how it's done. And then following me will be Britta Clayton, and she's going to be doing a swipe. So this is Perspectives in Pouring. And let's get over to the canvas so we can get this done. Um, it's going to be a very quick week to do this. Um, it's just us two, myself and Britta. And I hope you enjoy. So let's get over to the canvas. Hello, everybody. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a reverse flower dip. However, I'm going to be doing it in a spiral pattern instead of putting it over top of a cup. I already sprayed the back of my canvas, so it's nice and tight, like a drum, so nothing gets distorted. And uh, I'm going to be using this time a white background as opposed to a black background. So I'm doing this test because I know that I'm trying to go excuse me, a little bit lighter. And let's see how this one goes. Perhaps um, once I finish practicing all my pieces, then I'll be able to do some other things with it. So let me put down my base coat, and then I'll go over my colors with you. My base coat is Amsterdam Titanium White. This is a base coat that I was using actually for my Dutch pours. And it had a similar consistency as the other base coat. So um, the consistency for the medium that I used with the glue and the water, this is a um, base coat that has Floetrol in it. So this is Amsterdam with um, Floetrol and um, I think it has a little bit of Liquitex. I'm not sure exactly how I made this particular one, but it doesn't matter. As long as you have a nice uh, consistency with it, you can do flow troll, you can do pouring mediums. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. As long as it dries clear and it makes the paint flow. I don't get too much into the brands of uh, mediums and stuff. I'm more, I focus more on the brands of paint because certain brands of paint, because of different densities, react certain ways depending on how it's layered. So I'm just putting on this coat right here and then I'm going to tilt some of it off with Mr. Handy Dandy Man that was uh, helping me out for a second ago. I didn't even say that he was handy and he was dandy, but that's okay. Hope you guys said it at home. So now I'm tilting some of it. And it's, it's not always the point of tilting it off, rather. It's more of a point of tilting it um, until it's uh, more flattened out as opposed to um, having a lumpy surface. So there you go. So there's my white uh, background. Now, uh, let me go with a torch, put some of these bubbles out. I'm going to be using some prism pour, some color art pigments, pearl white mixture to get some lacing. Let's see how this is going to work. So we're going to work with a spiral pattern. So first I'm going to go with Liquitex Dioxazine Purple for a start. It's going to go right around this edge and the closer you get to the edge of the piece, the better. Wait, you're not on camera. 
so nice and thick and then from here I will go in a circle like a spiral in the middle like that then I should have put the um, pearl white on first but that's okay that's fine I use the dark per dark color then I'll go with my pearl white next to that purple then I'll go with uh, let me see if I can drizzle this on properly. I might need a pipette to do it. Let me see if I can use a pipette. One second. So I'll use a pipette to do it. So, This is a pink, pinkish color. Um, I think it's called Tango Pink. Come on, come on up. Makes it a little bit easier to Squeeze it on. If you use a pipette, then rather than using a uh, trying to tilt it out of the cup. some of these areas here good next um, I'll take a little bit of this this is a blue it's called um, blue velvet this is a prism pour from color art Let's hope this will work out fine. And I think I'm going to go with just those three. Blue Velvet. Um, so we get a little bit more dots in purple. No, Pearl White. Then dots is in purple. many colors now to spray my paper towel put on there by the half and then flip it over on the other side Make sure the colors are touched. I'm not worried too much about the corners. I really don't want too much of that to pull up anyway. Just want to make sure these colors that I put down are touched by everything. So, so far so good. But you gotta get close to the edge because when you're pulling these, um, this uh, napkin up, it's going to pull the colors inward and it's going to make it a little bit smaller so you make sure it's close to the edge as possible because i don't want to have to spin this out so let me bring these corners up 
to the middle and keep it low like this and like this and like this okay then I'm going to bring these sides in a little bit and this side in. okay good now let's go straight up with it all right oh, that's a nice piece stick my finger in there to kind of move things around okay I like the way that turned out Spin this out a little bit, maybe. Can it spin out? Maybe just got just enough on there. Okay, that's good. I think I'm happy with that one. So I'm going to get you down for a closer look as soon as I just touch this side up with a handy dandy right here. Oop. I didn't pull up too much color. Oh, I love the way that turned out. Let me give it a little bit of a torch. Again, but I'm very happy with the way this one um, actually turned out. So, let me move this over to the drying table, and then I'll get you down for a closer look. Okay, everyone, this is the final wet result. I don't want to drop my phone, but look at all those effects in there with the pearl whites and the pigments. The pigments making the lacing, too. Look at that. All those nice lacing effects. Nice details in the center. Very nice, light and delicate piece, not so bold. And it's on a white background too. So let me pull it back to see the depth of it. So I like the way that one turned out. So hopefully it'll dry the way it did. And this one I did over here, I did off camera. And this one looks more like fireworks, but regardless, it still um, works the way it does. I like the way it looks like an explosion of uh, fireworks in the center. So that also, I hope will dry well. So. Again, thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. And again, I say happy pouring. Bye-bye.